So, with the ongoing and increasingly worrisome provocations from North Korea, US-based experts on Korean affairs say it's not the right time for President Trump to bring up plans to renegotiate the South Korea-US free trade agreement. Our Kim il Gyun with more. Just a day before North Korea held its sixth nuclear test on Sunday, news outlets reported on President Trump's plan to renegotiate or even withdraw from the free trade deal between Washington and Seoul. After the nuclear test, experts on Korea expressed regret over the U.S. president's plan, calling it foolish and self-destructive. During an interview with Seoul-based Yonhap News Agency, Robert Manning, a senior fellow from the Atlantic Council, criticized Trump for raising the possibility of withdrawing from the Chorus FTA, calling it foolish and the worst plan in the situation. Alan Romberg, the director of the East Asia program at the Stimson Center, also said that Washington's plan to withdraw from the free trade deal is an irrational, self-defeating act, especially at a time when it's obvious that strong solidarity between allies is crucial in the face of North Korean provocations. He added that the U.S. president needs to give South Korea the political space to make possible alterations to the deal in a framework of collaboration and not confrontation. Ken Goss, the director of the International Affairs Group at the Center for Naval Analysis, said that it would be difficult for Seoul to confront its biggest threat coming from North Korea when its closest ally imposes such economic pressure on the country. The Korea Economic Institute also said that if Washington withdraws from the FTA, it will harm both nations' economic and security benefits, as well as weaken the influence of the Seoul-Washington alliance in East Asia. Kim mo Arirang News.